Hi, welcome to video number eight of my new series of videos. If you have been following me for the past two weeks, you know that I have been making two videos a week talking about what's causing you to get fat and most important, what you can do to change it. In case you don't know me, my name is Grace Levine and I am a health coach. Okay, so just a quick announcement. The topic of today is going to be a warm up for my master class. In case you haven't seen my announcement, on April 21st, nine days from today, I am hosting a master class where I will show you five healthy secrets to help you get fit, but most important, keep it as a lifestyle. Today, we're warming up for the master class. And let's get to our topic today. The topic of today is six mistakes you are making that slowing down your metabolism. Okay, that's the topic for today. I'm gonna be talking about six mistakes you are probably making that is slowing down your metabolism. It's a very important topic. So make sure you stay until the end. All right, so before we start talking about six mistakes that's slowing down your metabolism, I just want to remind you that I already created seven other videos talking about things that are causing you to gain body fat. So please, after you watch this video, make sure you go to my YouTube, my Instagram, or my Facebook account and watch video number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay? It's a whole series of videos uh, where I have been talking about what's making you fat and what you can do. To change. Video number one, I spoke about sugar addiction. Video number two, I spoke about strategies to start and keep a healthy lifestyle. Video number three, I spoke about the benefits of eating more plant-based foods in order to stop counting calories. Video number four, I spoke about cravings. Video number five, I spoke about the importance of setting up goals. Video number six, and seven, I spoke about fitness myth. Lots of great information, so make sure you watch these videos if you want to get in shape this year, okay? All this content is just gonna help you get closer to your goal. All right, so let's get to our topic today, all right? Before I talk about the mistakes you're making that's slowing down your metabolism, let's first understand what is your metabolism right this is a very important thing to know if you want to have uh, your body on point okay that's very important to know and you need to know you need to be an expert in yourself what's your metabolism a simple way to say this is that your metabolism is the internal process by which your body expands energy and burn calories okay so your metabolism runs 24 7 to keep your body moving even when you're resting or sleeping by converting the food and the nutrients you consume into the energy your body needs in order to breathe circulate blood grow and repair cells and everything else it does to survive Okay. This process works at different intensity in different people. How fast your metabolism works depends uh, on a couple of things. Okay, so it depends on how genes are, depends on your body size, your body composition, your sex, your age, your digestive system, your level of activity. So as you can see, like a lot of things are linked to the way your metabolism is working okay so it's very complex for example like the way i know like if i don't exercise if i don't eat the right foods i know uh, by my genes i tend to gain weight why because most of people in my family they are over weight okay so they don't follow a good diet they don't do exercise as a, a daily routine and if you look like my parents my aunt uh my some of my sisters some people in my family they're all overweight 
so I I can say that like me personally I tend to be uh, overweight if I don't take care of myself because I know my family all my fa my everyone in my family there ev most of the people are overweight okay by their lifestyle and by the way they eat and could be genes as well so me personally I am short I have everybody in my family that's overweight and I understand that if I don't take care of if I don't take care of my body the proper way nourishing and exercising and everything that we're gonna talk if I don't pay attention to everything that we're gonna talk in this video I know I can just be obese in the blink of an eye because of my genes because of my height because of my family if you think that you are overweight or obese because of your genes yeah it could be but there are also lifestyle changes that you can make to change your metabolism, okay? And there are many mistakes that you could be making that's making your metabolism is low. As you age, you know that your metabolism is, is going to slow down. So there are strategies to follow that helps uh, your metabolism keeps going fast than usual so that's what I'm gonna be talking about right now so basically if you want to take control of your health and if you want to keep a decent weight and a decent shape as you get older you definitely want to pay attention to your own metabolism and take this very 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 serious because it's one of the most important thing in your life okay there are many important things in your body but it's very important to you to know if your metabolism is slow, what can you do to change? Or what you, you are doing already that's hurting you, that's making your metabolism slow. That's a very bad thing to have a, a slow metabolism. So that's why I'm talking about this topic today, because I believe a lot of people are fat, overweight, obese, because their metabolism are super slow okay? and that's why I need to talk about this since this whole series of videos is about what's making you fat and what you can do to change so if, you're, if your metabolism is slow you are getting fat day after day, day after day you are eating little meals, you are still gaining weight you are working out but you could still be uh, gaining body fat every single day so that's a very important topic okay guys so let's get to it let's talk about the mistakes that are slowing down your metabolism let's talk about mistake number one that you could be making to slow down your metabolism mistake number one is eating too few calories Eating too few calories can cause your metabolism to slow down. We all know that a calorie deficit is needed for weight loss. However, when you eat too little and miss nutrients, you can slow down your metabolism. If you try to follow very restricted diets where you're starving yourself by eating too few calories as i always say your body is super smart so when you are lowering your calories your body senses that food is scarce okay and what it does your body lowers the rate at which it burns calories controlled studies in lean and overweight people confirm that consuming fewer than a thousand calories per day can have a significant impact on your metabolism rate in one study when obese women ate 420 calories per day from four to six months their resting metabolic rates is lowered down even after they increase their calorie intake over the following five weeks their resting metabolic rates remained much lower than before the diet in another study overweight people were asked to consume 89 calories per day after three months their total calorie expenditure dropped by 633 calories on average 
moderate. Even when calorie restriction is more moderate, it can still slow down your metabolism. So the bottom line here is, if you're going to lose weight by calorie restriction, don't restrict your calories intake too much, okay? Or for too long. And most important, remember that the quality of each calorie matters okay if you want to lose weight and you feel like you need to reduce your calories more than worrying about the reducing calories i would say worry about the quality of the calories because it does matter when talking about your metabolism let's say you eat uh junk food right to reach your calorie for the day that junk food is gonna have a different impact in your metabolism, your body, compared to high nutrient dense foods that you're eating all day. So be smart, okay? Don't look at calories just as calories and restrict your calories like crazy because you want to drop weight very quick. You're just hurting yourself. Slowing down your metabolism is the worst thing that you can do for yourself. Because now imagine, you're slowing down your metabolism. It doesn't matter what you eat. It's not gonna do anything for you. You're just gonna be still gaining weight. So the big takeaway here is you cannot have long-term results if you are looking for quick fixes okay cutting calories too much and for too long lowers your metabolism rate which can make weight loss and weight maintenance very difficult or even impossible so folks on the long term lifestyle sustainable change day because your body is very smart don't try to do anything crazy because your body answers right away all right okay now let's talk about mistake number two mistake number two that's slowing down your metabolism is eating too little protein eating enough protein is extremely important for achieving and maintaining a health weight in addition to helping you feel full High protein can increase the rate at which your body burns calories. How great is that, right? So the increasing metabolism that occurs after digestion is called the thermic effect of food, known as TES. The thermic effect of protein is much higher than that uh, in carbs or fat. Some studies indicate that eating protein increases metabolism by 20 to 30 percent compared to 5 or 10 percent from carbs and 3 percent or less from fat. Even though metabolic rate is slows down during weight loss and continues to be slower during weight maintenance, evidence suggests that higher protein intake can minimize this effect. In one study, participants followed one of three diets in an effort to maintain a 10 to 15% weight loss. The diet highest in protein reduced total daily energy expenditure by only 97 calories compared to 297 423 calories in people who consumed le consumed less protein another study found that people needed to eat at least half grams of protein per pound of body weight or 1.2 grams per kilos to prevent their metabolism from slowing down during and after weight loss okay basically the one important thing here is to remember that protein increases metabolic rate more than carbs and fat okay increased protein intake helps preserve metabolic rate during weight loss and maintain it so my one tip here is don't need to go eat crazy amount of protein <laughs> How they okay you still need the macronutrients common sense guys okay you still need your fiber your good fat your good carb and of course try to include proteins to your main meals okay 
What are your main meals? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Make sure you have protein with all your main meals. Not only protein, good carbs, good fiber, good fats. But of course, you want to be eating proteins because a lot of people, they're just like skinny fat because they just eat whatever they feel like, you know? So eat your protein. Don't forget the macronutrients as well. All right. Okay. Now let's talk about mistake number three. That's slowing down your metabolism. Mistake number three is you have a sedentary lifestyle. Being sedentary may decrease the number of calories your body burns each day. That sucks. If you are sitting all day because of your work, it's important to you to know that this routine has a negative effect on your metabolic rate and your overall health. Even a 15 minutes workout every day can have a big impact in your metabolism. If you still cannot exercise for 15 minutes each day, try to spend more time standing up like I am right now on my stand desk. Uh, you can be active by cleaning your house, cleaning things up, and taking the stairs as many times as possible. Any activity help, any activity will just help your metabolism uh, going a little faster because just being sedentary, it's really not good for your health at all, okay? One study found that watching TV while sitting burns an average of 8% fewer calories than typing while sitting and 16% fewer calories than standing. Working at a standing desk or simply getting up to walk around several times per day can help you increase your NEAT. What's NEAT? That's a no exercise activity thermogenesis okay and can also prevent your metabolism from dropping so guys this is so important if you have a sedentary lifestyle and you have zero time to exercise try to make a priority okay make sure you're walking 15 minutes make sure you're standing up while you're working make sure you walk a little bit around your house or your office in the morning lunchtime afternoon you're on your way to the house i don't care find a way to move daily because a sedentary lifestyle will slow down your metabolism and if you're already past your 30 you know after 30 your metabolism slows down that's for sure so you have to do everything you can to avoid this from happening okay and this is mistake number three. If you have a sedentary lifestyle, you are slowing down your metabolism, all right? Big takeaway, minimize sitting all day and get moving every single day, okay? All right, let's go to mistake number four. Mistake number four that's slowing down your metabolism is not getting high quality Sleep. Sleep is extremely important for good health. Sleeping fewer hours than you need could increase your risk of heart disease, diabetes, and depression. Many studies show that poor sleep may also lower your metabolic rate and increase your chances of gaining weight. One study found that healthy adults who slept four hours each night for five nights in a row experienced a 2.6 decrease in resting metabolic rate on average. The rate returned to a normal rate only after 12 hours of uninterrupted sleep. That's crazy, right? So, lack of sleep is made worse by sleeping during the day instead of at night. So, if you're sleeping during the day instead of sleeping during the night, this sleep habit is messing up your body circadian rhythms and your internal clock 
as well. Basically, if you have uh, work at night and you sleep during the day, there's nothing that you can do, right? But if you're just sleeping during the day and not sleeping during the night because you're just disorganized with your life and your schedule tries to change that you really want to be sleeping during the night when it's dark there's no sun that's when you're supposed to sleep a five-week study showed that prolonged sleep restriction combined with messing up the circadian rhythm decreased resting metabolic rate by an average of eight percent okay so again, you don't want to slow down your metabolism. You don't want to slow down your metabolic rate because as you get older, this happens naturally. Okay, so do everything you can to have a good night of sleep. If you struggle going to bed because you don't feel like shutting down, I'll give you a couple of tips that have been working for me. I used to always want to do everything at night. Okay, I want to read this book, I want to watch this show, I want to be on WhatsApp talking to my family. I used to have a very bad habit with like going to bed. Up to like a few years ago, I used to always want to be up. I go to bed like at 1 or 2 a.m. And I started to change my habits okay so right now what i do i put my phone to sleep i always have a chamomile tea or some type of herbal tea that i drink around 10 o'clock so it's my routine it's my night routine right so you go drink the tea start to slow down put your phone away if you can turn off the tv then you take a shower do some self-care put you know clean your face put some cream try to use like some lavender uh, creams and essential oils before you go to bed make sure your room is clean make sure your 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 sheets are clean make sure your ac is on so you feel a little cold you feel more comfy to sleep make sure your bedroom is clean and organized that's a place for you to rest and heal and recharge so try to take that more serious and create this night routine okay do whatever you can to make it more exciting do meditation if you can i have been doing uh five minutes of meditation before i go to bed for the past few weeks and it has been like amazing five minutes even two minutes you can do just look do a deep breath in and out <laughs> and uh and you just talk to yourself like okay i had a great day everything that i didn't do today i'm gonna do tomorrow tomorrow is another chance now it's time for a rest and you keep telling that for yourself eventually you get to the routine okay but practice you need to practice it doesn't happen naturally okay so try that and give a priority to your sleep so you keep your metabolic rate high okay that's the goal and mistake number five that's slowing down your metabolism is drinking sugary beverage okay so sugar sweetened drinks are killing your health i already spoke that on in one of my videos basically high consumption of uh sugary drinks i linked two insulin resistance diabetes and obesity okay many of the negative effects of sugary drinks can be due to fructose table sugar contains 50 percent fructose while high fructose corn syrup packs 55 percent fructose if you are drinking sugary drinks daily just know that you're slowing down your metabolism okay just know like you're drinking sugary drink just know just tell yourself i'm slowing down my metabolism right in a 12 week controlled study overweight and obese people who consume 55 percent of their calories as fructose sweetened drinks on a weight maintaining diet experience a very big drop in metabolic rate not all studies support this idea one study noted that overeating high fructose corn syrup compared to whole wheat did not affect 24-hour metabolic rate so it does make a difference okay like again the calorie quality the quality of the calorie 
matter okay so you see this is the this one study is, is showing that people overeating high fructose corn syrup had an impact a drop in their metabolic rate but people that are eating more whole wheat did not uh got did not get their metabolic rate affected or dropped so again guys is you need to understand that the quality of the calorie matters a calorie is not just a calorie okay quality matters a lot and i'm gonna talk about that on my master class okay i'm gonna be just if you're watching this video you're just gonna know about one of the secrets that i'm gonna be talking in my master class the name of my master class is five healthy secrets to get fit and stay fit right one of the secrets that i'm gonna be talking about is about how calorie is not just a calorie and how the quality of the calorie matters so if you are watching this video make sure you sign up for my master classes so you will understand how deep it is to focus on the quality of the calorie okay it's crazy but it matters if you are addicted to sugar another research shows that too much fructose consumption promotes increased fat storage in your belly and in your liver crazy right so if you are addicted to sugary drinks keep in mind that drinking too much fructose may reduce your metabolic rate and promote fat storage in your belly and your liver okay so the takeaway do everything you can to avoid sugary drinks okay this is the key here all right so now let's talk about mistake number six that's slowing down your metabolism mistake number six is you think you already eat healthy but you don't what do i mean by that this is the mistake i see many of my clients make when we first start talking all right and it's really sad it's really sad to see people making this mistake my clients will come to me and tell me uh they're already eating healthy but it's still like they are not losing weight at all or seeing any change in their body one important thing here is to that i just want to say is that when you're trying to lose weight okay stop going crazy about the, the number on the scale losing weight losing numbers on the scale it's not everything right like you could be eating like a healthy diet and not losing weight and you look better your body composition is better you're fitting your your clothes you're fitting your dress you're looking good if you're exercising a little bit you could be and eating right you could be gaining some uh lean muscles so just looking the scale add to the number is not like everything okay but a lot of my clients when they first come talk to me all they care is about the number of the scale and then we talk we do like a couple of sessions we i explain many things that i'm actually gonna explain on my master class and, and they get to the, the right mindset all right but basically like it's very important to look at what you are eating daily okay the whole day like just because you eat a salad here and there doesn't mean you are eating healthy okay maybe you're eating one salad here and there but let me tell you something i wanna cry when i have a client come to me and say gracie i have been eating a caesar salad every day for lunch and still i'm not losing weight i look the same nothing is changing guys very important here caesar salad is not the best salad to eat if you're trying to lose weight okay caesar salad is the worst salad that you can eat okay why lettuce has almost no nutrients uh the dressings that you're getting from outside if you're eating out is the worst is usually like very high in, in poor calorie and then you have the cheese which causes more inflammation in your body if your body is already inflamed if you're overweight and obese you are all inflamed and the cheese is not helping okay so you have the letter the lettuce with very 
few nutrients. Then you have the pore dressing that's full of empty calories, calories with no nutrients. Then you have the cheese and then you have the bread, right? It's like, which is soaked with olive oil in a lot of places. So why don't you just eat a meal? Why don't you just eat a protein, good carbs and greens? Okay, because I'm telling you, like, I feel horrible for people to see people starving in their cells, eating a Caesar salad. Even when I go out with my husband, I usually try to get a salad with a little bit more nutrients because I need the nutrients. And I see him like getting a uh, Caesar salad all the time. He loves Caesar salad. Okay, if you go to a nice dinner, on the weekend, an Italian restaurant you never go to and you want to eat a good quality Caesar salad also, right? It's not gonna have a lot of nutrients, but at least it's gonna be quality ingredients, you know. But if you're going to like going out or even making a salad at home, trying to make more like a high density uh, a salad, okay? What would be a more rich, nutrient, healthy salad to eat instead of a Caesar salad would be mixed greens with different greens like arugula, uh, kale, spinach all mixed together then you put a good olive oil then you put some apple cider vinegar it's good to you some good quality salt uh, avocado fresh tomatoes basil you know good quality ingredients there's so many ways just to make a healthy salad at home and then you can eat your protein you can eat your lean protein you can eat your good carb a good carb would be brown rice could be even white rice could if it's small amount could be a sweet potato could be a baked potato could even be a slice of whole wheat bread why not right so folks on quality okay i'm sorry guys someone called me in the middle of my video and i lost the final of this video but basically this is the last mistake i am sharing with you just be careful you know with the healthy foods that you think it's healthy but could actually be slowing down your metabolism as well all right so this is it for today guys i will see you again on thursday i'm doing a live video on my instagram on thursday and i'm also doing a live workout every single friday so if you want to do a 15 minutes 20 minutes workout with me make sure you are you are following me on instagram okay i go live every single friday at 7 a.m and on thursday i'm also doing another video a warm-up for my master class so make sure you are following me on instagram and you subscribe to my channel if you're watching this on youtube and make sure you sign up for the master class okay so I will be live on Instagram on Thursday for another warm-up from a masterclass talking about something that's making you fat and what you can do to change it. Today we spoke about mistakes that there are slowing down your metabolism, all right? And I have another video on Thursday. In Friday, I have an Instagram workout live at 7 a.m. So make sure you join or make sure you watch it later because all the videos are always saved all right thanks so much for watching this video like comment below let me know if you learned anything and which mistake you're actually making that were slowing down your metabolism and i'll see you on thursday thank you so much for watching see you soon